Good morning, Good morning Theodore, Theodore Roosevelt, Roosevelt High, High School. School. These, These are, are your morning, morning announcements for Tuesday, January 16th, 2024. Yo, 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 this is Brady Liskey, your school weather reporter and forecaster once again. Today's weather will be mostly cloudy skies with a high of 20 degrees. Tonight's weather will be mostly cloudy skies with a low of 11 degrees. Tuesday's weather will be mostly cloudy skies with a high of 17 degrees. Wednesday's weather will be partly cloudy skies with a high of 18 degrees. Thursday's weather will be mostly cloudy skies with a high of 27 degrees. Friday's weather will be mainly cloudy with snow showers around in the morning with a high of 21 degrees. The chance of snow is 50% and snow accumulations are less than one inch. That is your weather report and forecast. See you next Monday. Hey riders, do any of the following connect with you? Be someone who makes you happy. Tomorrow needs you. Mental health is not a destination, but a process. It's about how you drive and where you're going. It's the little moments of happiness that get us through the darkness. And if today all you did was hold yourself together, I'm proud of you. Let's talk about mental health. It's the best investment. If so, Miss Janet Kramer will be holding groups that promote positive mental health, well-being, and effective leadership on Tuesdays beginning January 23rd for anyone who wants an opportunity to talk in a safe, positive, and open space. Please see your school counselor. A reminder for seniors going to Chicago, your third payment and all trip forms are due this Friday, January 19th. Any questions? See your class advisors or Mrs. Jurging. Hey riders, listen up and look alive. This is how proud riders ride. It's time to announce today's PBIS ride winners. The following students are being acknowledged for demonstrating positive behavior in the area of respect, integrity, duty, and or excellence. Connor Butterball, Nathan Malik, Daniel Lee, Lamira Thompson, Nevaeh Tackett, and staff member, Mr. Nauer. On Tuesday, the boys and girls bowling teams had a match against Twinsburg. The girls team was able to pick up a win, but the boys lost despite bowling one of their best matches of the season. High school games for the girls were Hannah Robinson, 206, Jillian Eden, 187. High games for the boys were Aiden Broyles, 232, 189, and Braden Darko, 227, and 223. And now a special message from teacher Mr. Hibbs. Yesterday, we recognized the life of Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King, one of our greatest Americans that had an impact on the whole world because of his life's work. His was a life dedicated to the idea of serving those that were the most oppressed in society. He came to prominence with the radical idea at the time that black people should have the same rights as everyone else in this country. His life was centered around the idea that we have an obligation to make a difference in the world. He said, everybody can be great because anybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and verb agree to serve. You only need a heart full of grace, a soul generated by love. Too often we get so caught up in ourselves and our own issues and forget that we have an opportunity every day to make a difference in the lives of others. That we have an opportunity through small actions to make our little world and by turn the whole world a more just and equitable place. Use his holiday and his life as a catalyst to live your life in the service of others. What is it about the Negro? I mean, every other group that came as an immigrant somehow not easily, but somehow got around it. Is it just the fact that Negroes are black? White America must see that no other ethnic group has been a slave on American soil. Uh, that is one thing that other immigrant groups haven't had to face. The other thing is that the color became a stigma. American society made the Negroes color a stigma. America freed the slaves in 19... I mean, 1863, through the Emancipation Proclamation of Abraham Lincoln, but gave the slaves no land or nothing in reality, and as a matter of fact, to, to get started on. At the same time, America was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that there was a willingness to give the white peasants from Europe an economic base. 
and yet it refused to give its black peasants from Africa who came here involuntarily in chains and had worked free for 244 years any kind of economic base. And so emancipation for the Negro was really freedom to hunger. It was freedom uh, to the winds and rains of heaven. It was freedom without food to eat or land to cultivate, and therefore it was freedom and famine at the same time. And when white Americans tell the Negro to lift himself by his own bootstraps, they don't, oh, they don't look over the legacy of slavery and segregation. I believe we ought to do all we can and seek to lift ourselves by our own bootstraps. But uh, it's a cruel jest to say to a bootless man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. And many Negroes, by the thousands and millions, have been left bootless as a result of all of these years of oppression and as a result of a society that deliberately made his color a stigma and something worthless and degrading. These have been your morning announcements for Tuesday, January 16th, 2024. Have a temporary Tuesday, Roosevelt.